Africans. This is your home of African cultural diversity and experience. If this is your first time in this channel, please feel at home. Learn, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to always receive notifications when we load a new video. Don't forget to like and share this video. Today, we look at 10 cultural activities that you can do in Dajin when you are visiting. Kenya. Kenya is a land of great ethnic and cultural diversity. It's a fascinating country with a rich blend of traditional cultures. Kenya holds some of the continent's most amazing cultural events which attract many visitors across the world. Here are 10 cultural events and activities that you can touch in so as to experience such a rich blend of culture and diversity. Number one, when you in Kenya, visit the Mombasa Carnival Fest. The Mombasa Carnival Fest is a multicultural street party event that happens in the November of every year. It is one of the biggest and most popular festivals in Kenya. Organized by the Ministry of Tourism of Kenya, it celebrates the traditions and ethnic diversity in Kenya. The main features of the event revolve around two colorful parades with people showcasing amazing costumes from different ethnic groups. Dance and music are also played as an integral part of the festival. A mix of traditional and contemporary artists join the celebration, making it a refreshing introduction to East Africa's rich cultural diversity. It features multicultural music and dance performances with each ethnic community showcasing the amazing costumes. Number Visit the Lake Tukana Festival in Loyangalani. Lake Tukana Festival is usually held around May of every year. The festival is a conglomerate of 14 communities that form the bulk of the large Malsabet County's population. The famous festival is held annually in Loyangalani, a small town located on the southeastern coast of Lake Tukana in Malsabet County. The name means a place of military in the native Samburu town and is home to El Molo, an almost extinct community amongst other communities. This three-day event meant to promote peace and cohesion brings together 14 ethnic communities living in the Lake Tukana region. The event is held to celebrate the rich culture of Tukana, Samburu, Borana, Wata, Rendile, Gabra, Dasanaj, and the nearly extinct El Molo community. This is a chance to experience the rare explored northern region of Kenya. The event features unique performances, demonstrations of the ethnic communities which live in the Lake Tukana region. The Lake Tukana Festival is worth attending as you explore the northern frontier and enjoy a myriad of colorful cultures while discovering the hidden treasures of Lake Tukana. If you miss the event, do not be worried. You can go for an encounter with the Tukana people and the El Molo any other period of the year. The El Molo people, also known as people of the or hunters of the Jade Sea, are Kushiti, smallest and near extinct ethnic group found in northern Kenya. With a population of less than 300 people, and decreasing the El Molo is probably Africa's smallest ethnic group. They live on the east bank of the Lake Tukana. Number three. Visiting the Maasai people in their villages. The Maasai are one of few indigenous tribes in Africa that have left their culture intact. The Maasai are a proud and confident people who have gained a reputation of fearless warrior. They stand out because of their colorful garments, jewelry, and spear wielding habit. The Maasai depend entirely on their livestock and because of that live a nomadic life in search of pasture and water. The Maasai tend to live in community or small settlements that contain between 8 to 15 houses. The settlements are protected from predators using zone fences and bushes. To experience the Maasai culture, visit in Tasekera in the Loita Plains of Narrow County or the Mount Suswa and spend the night with the Maasai. During this visit, you will be led by a guide to visit the Maasai homesteads and while with the Maasai, you can help them to the gold shipping cattle. This was an opportunity to meet the elders where visitors get to learn more about the history of the Maasai and their culture. If you spend the evening with the Maasai, you can also get a chance to listen to folk songs, stories, or dance around the campfire. In these villages, you also get a chance to slow our going blood directly from the animal, and eat some raw meat, the Maasai do, as well as milk their cattle. Nyamachoma will also be in plenty. If you have already visited the Maasai and you would like to have some more experience visit Samburu. Samburu are one of the closest relatives of the Maasai and like the Maasai, the Samburu have not allowed western influences to erode their original culture. Their dancing style is similar to the Maasai and also involves dancing high in circles. They are nomadic pastoralists and depend on their animals for survival. They feed on cow milk, meat and blood. A visit to a Samburu village is a chance to interact with Samburu people and get a glimpse of their culture, the unique way of life and see first some of their customs and practices. Number four. 
experience the culture of the Luya community. The Luya comprise a number of Bantu ethnic groups native to Western Kenya. They are divided into 20 cultural and mystically related tribes. The sub-tribes are the Bukus, Dahsu, Kabra, Hai, Kisa, Marak, Marakol, Marama, Nyal, Nyol, Sami, Tachon, Tiriki, Tsotso, Wanga, and Batu. The Luya are nationally renowned for their energetic and vibrant So, what cultural experience can you get from the Luya people? You can visit the Bukus Rite of Passage. Among the Luya community, two major sub-tribes are the Bukusu and the Marago. The Rite of Passage from childhood and adulthood among the Bukusu ethnic group takes place every even year as a sign of bravery that everyone has to undergo. There's so much singing and dancing to the Kinyimba, all the jingles, lyrics, and watching with keen interest how they initiate or the initiate or the circumstances the jingles or the chinim as he prepares to enter into adulthood. Songs are sung in Kibukusu language using obscene words directed at both the mother of the initiate and the boy himself. We also have the Maragoli Cultural Festival. This is a popular event in the Western Kenya held annually on the 26th of December in Baleta, Vihiga County. It showcases the cultural traditions and not only the Maragoli subcommittee the whole year in the group. It is organized by the Vihiga Cultural Society and attracts masses within and out of the region. The bull fighting sport event, popular cultural sport practiced by the Idaho and Isukha sub communities of the larger mm -hmm. community in Kakamega, Western Kenya. The bulls that engage in a spirited fight that lasts from five minutes to thirty minutes are adequately fed and prepared for the occasion. The owner of the winning bull receives a cash prize after the match, after which local brew is served as part of the celebrations. Number five. Lamu cultural festival. Lamu is an ancient Swahili township, also a UNESCO. World Heritage Site. The cultural festival offers an insight of how life in the old days was in terms of architecture and lifestyle. Most visitors to the island fall in love with its relaxed and peaceful lifestyle. Every year, Lam comes to life during the Lam cultural festival as Kenyans come together to celebrate both the past, future, the beliefs and traditions that are the heart and soul of this community in the lovely enchanted island of Lam. The event is usually held annually in November with exciting activities such as traditional Swahili poetry, inner painting, donkey races and Dao sailing, culminating with a traditional Swahili way and a chance to enjoy various Swahili dishes. This annual festival gives one a chance to experience the traditional beliefs that are very deeply engraved with the locals and learn more about the yeah. simple and peaceful life. The main event is the donkey race competition whereby donkey race with their skill and talent steering donkeys and which makes sport fun to watch. Other sports include Dao races, swimming competitions and bow games, which has archaeological okay. evidence of existing in Insta for thousands of Yes. One can also learn Swahili in a paint shop for clothes at Fatuoli and get to sample the cost of street food such as Hamri, Baji, Kaimati, among others. The International Camel Derby Festival. The International Camel Derby Festival held every year in Nagas, mm. the northern region of Kenya, is a blend of culture, action, adventure, and the finest camel races. Held every year in the northern region of Kenya in Samburu. Mm. The Camel Derby attracts contenders from all over the world since it started in the early 90s with camel races, cycling races for both amateurs and professional races alike. Each year, the Camel Derby brings color and action to the streets of Maralat. As the finest camel scattered for the big race. Maralal town is a simple dusty town set on a hillside in Samburu County. It's a driving center for local Samburu. The Camel Derby is such an exciting event for anyone wishing to compete and under chance to experience culture, car action, and adventure first half. If camel riding is not for you, there is also a bike race or a 10 kilometer running race where you can take in the spectacular landscape of the Samburu County as you compete over a demanding course. The town is also bustling with traditional dances. Number seven. Experience the Kikuyu culture. To experience the Kikuyu culture, visit a Kikuyu cultural center and spend a day learning more about the Kikuyu tribe and their culture. Examples of the Kikuyu cultural centers are Ryuki cultural center, located about 25 kilometers outside of Nairobi, in the Kikuyu heartland of Kiambu, Lingira cultural village, in Makutano, or Makurwe, Wanyaka 
Muranga in Muranga County. Some of the cultural activities available include a guided tour of the Kikuyu village, Kikuyu traditional doctor cleansing ceremony, Kikuyu traditional food and drink tasting, Kikuyu traditional dances, a lecture on the Kikuyu tribe traditional lifestyle. You also get different itineraries which include spending the night in the village a traditional Kikuyu. If you are lucky, you could attend a Kikuyu traditional wedding and experience a rich culture engraved into the hearts of the Kikuyu people. Number 8. Rusinga Festival. The Rusinga Cultural Festival is an event of the year that takes you to one of the yes. on Lake Victoria, Rusinga Island. It's two days nothing but music, fashion, film, food, artistry, really? literature, sports, and conversations taking you back in time to the world of the Subaka. As a result of assimilation and intermarriage with the Lu, the Suba culture has been under pressure and the language is now listed in the UNESCO Red Book of Indigenous Languages. Rusinga Festival prides itself as the biggest cultural event in Western Kenya. This two-day event takes place annually just before Christmas among the Abasuba community located on the eastern part of Lake Victoria in the western region of Kenya. Attending this cultural event will give you a chance to experience the Suba people's traditional music, art, sports, food, and literature. It gives the community a chance to showcase their art, fashion, poultry, and carving skills. Number nine. Visiting the Kaya forests. To experience the unique cultures of the coastal parts of Kenya, you must visit the sacred Kaya forest. This Kaya forest is considered to be an intrinsic source of rich power, the origin of cultural identity. It is also a place of prayer for members of the Kostro Mijiken ethnic group. The Mijiken Kaya forest consists of 11 separate forest sites spread over some 200 kilometers along the coast containing the remains of numerous fortified villages known as Kayas of the Mijiken people. The Kayas created as of the 16th century but abandoned by the 1940s are now regarded as the ancestors and are revered as sacred sites and as such are maintained as by councils of elders. The site is inscribed as bearing uniqueness to a cultural tradition and for its direct link to a living tradition. The elders have ensured that ancient practices and beliefs remain intact. Number three. Maulidi Festival. Lamu Island annually hosts the historic Maulidi, an Islamic festival held during the third month of the Muslim calendar Rabin. to Allah. celebrate the birth of Prophet Muhammad. Allah. 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 The festival has been celebrated for more than a century. It is now a permanent feature of East Africa's Islamic activity. Various community building competitions take place, including swimming, Dao, and dunk races. Inner competitions are for the mixture of uniquely Swahili music and dance. The uniquely Swahili music, dance, and culture in Lamu are unlike any other since this island is rich in culture, history and tradition. Yes. The reason East African Muslims yes. Lamu to visit and observe this special time. Finally. If you don't have mm. enough time to visit the individual tribes in the countryside, visit the Bomas of Kenya. In the Bomas of Kenya, you get a chance to see all the different tribal groups in one place. The center, opened in 1971, was found in Nairobi along the, the Bomas of Kenya. is special because it offers variety, hence allowing tourists to see, experience, learn everything there is to know about Kenya's different cultural groups. The experience can be overwhelming, and we recommend that you set aside a full day to enjoy everything. Of